All right, in this question, what you have to do is, uh, first of all, there's a graph of y equals the square root of x here, and y equals 1 on x, and in the question, there's a quadrilateral that's been formed by joining a horizontal line from A to B, and then a vertical one down here from B to C. C is on this curve, B is on this curve, A is on this curve and connecting those three points with the origin and part a you have to find the point of intersection of the two curves so in other words the coordinates of this point here and the way you do that i'm going to call that y1 and y2 so just let y1 equal y2 and then solve for x so y1 the square root of x equals one on x and then square both sides to get rid of the square root that will give you x equals and then square the top and the bottom and you get one on x squared from there x uh, times both sides by this so you get x times x squared equals that times x squared i'll put this step in and then this x squared here is over 1, that cancels with that, all of that's going to equal 1, so x cubed equals 1, and from there cube rooting both sides you get x equals positive 1. To find the y value you just sub x equals 1 in either of these two equations, square root of 1 is 1 and 1 on 1 is 1, so you end up with y equals 1, and therefore the point of intersection is 1 comma 1, so that's part A done. In question two, at the point of intersection, find the equation of the tangent to both curves. So at this point, it is a, you can make a tangent to y equals the square root of x and also a tangent at that same point on this curve, y equals 1 on x. So there's two tangents there. So starting with finding the equation of the tangent to y equals the square root of x, which is x to the power of 1 half, so tangents are straight lines is what i was trying to say so of the form y equals mx plus c so you need to find m and c or you can use the other uh, equation y minus y1 equals m bracket x minus x1 to find the actual equation but first of all you need to find the gradient so m is going to be equal to and it's going to be dy dx Remember the gradient of a tangent is equal to the gradient on the at the point on the curve that it touches. So the gradient of the tangent is the same as the gradient on the point where on the curve where the tangent touches the curve. So therefore m is equal to, to dy dx of this. So bringing down that power one half x and then minusing one from that power, you end up with one half x to the minus one half and that's equal to one half multiplied by and this is one on x to the one half which is one on the square root of x tops together bottoms together you get one on two root x so it's a little bit easier subbing things into this than into say this uh, all right so there's the gradient therefore and i'm going to call it m1 and I'm going to call this equation y1 and as I've done up here y1 y2 so m1 the gradient of the first equation is equal to that and at the point x equals 1 so that means you sub x equals 1 in here and you get 1 on 2 times the square root of 1 which is 1 so 1 on 2 times 1 which is 1 on 2 uh, that's supposed to be a 2 actually supposed to be that line all right so therefore m1 equals one half and using that point of intersection which is one comma one and this gradient subbing them both into y minus y1 equals m bracket x minus x1 you get y minus one equals the gradient which is one half multiplied by x minus this one here and then expanding the bracket and you get so coming up here y minus 1 equals 1 half 
x and then minus one half and then adding the one to both sides you get y equals and this is just x over two and then minus one half plus one equals positive one half so that's the equation of that first tangent right there and looking at the second curve so y2 equals 1 on x and this is the same as x to the minus 1 so just writing it like that same thing you want to find the gradient so m2 this time equals and again dy dx of that equation so bringing down the minus 1 and then x to the minus 1 minus 1 then that's minus 1 x to the minus 2 which is just minus 1 times and this is 1 on x squared and so you get minus 1 on x squared so it has a negative gradient at the point where x equals 1 you sub 1 into here so 1 squared is 1 1 divided by 1 is 1 and it equals minus 1 and I'll just put that actually up here m2 equals minus 1 and then again using that equation y minus y1 equals m bracket x minus x1 and then again using this point 1 comma 1 both ones the x and y value so y y minus 1 equals the gradient which is minus 1 bracket x minus 1 and just expanding and putting everything on the right hand side so adding one to that side after I've multiplied that out minus one times x is minus x minus one times minus one is plus one and then plusing one uh, to both sides we'll get rid of this and plus one here and then you get y equals minus x plus two and that's the equation of that second tangent and voila there it is the two equations of the two t or the equations of the two tangents so this one is the tangent to um, 1 on x y equals 1 on x Equa uh, tangent to that curve and this one's the tangent to equation of the tangent to the first curve here y equals the square root of x so that's the answers for those two Okay, in part three, you have to find the acute angle between the two curves at the point of intersection. So uh, this is really like having the two tangents and then the angles or which uh, the two tangents will create four angles and uh, the opposite angles in those tangents. So you're going to have something like that. So these opposite angles will be equal and you're after the acute angle which would be the smaller of the two angles that you're going to get when you work this uh, out. So the formula for that is just alpha and it's equal to, just have to get the formula out again. It's just equal to theta 2 minus theta 1. So theta 2 minus theta 1 where theta 2 is the angle that, and I'll use this curve here because it's y2 it's the angle that the tangent makes with the horizontal so if the tangent went down like like this one the angle that it would make with the horizontal would be this angle in here or this angle over here and you're doing the same thing with this this tangent here that's actually not horizontal but it's always the angle uh, in this formula it's always the angle that the tangent or the line that you're looking at makes with the x-axis that's the angle that you're after and there will uh, unless it's 90 degrees it'll you'll have an acute angle and an obtuse angle so it's the acute one between the two lines that you want so first of all uh, looking at theta 2 so theta 2 when the rule you have connecting these angles and the gradients is the tan of the angle that it makes is equal to the gradient uh, and this is because in so this is the angle here this is the right angle tan of this angle here this little one here is equal to opposite on adjacent that's just rise over run so tan of theta is equal to the gradient m so theta 2 is going to be be the inverse tan of m2 
and I'll put that step in. So that's 10 to the minus 1 of m2 minus tan to the minus 1 of m1 for theta 1. So again, when you've got tan theta equals m, theta is equal to the inverse tan of m. And then just subbing those values in. So m2 is this one up here. I'll just put a box around it there. So minus 1, so tan to the minus 1 of minus 1 minus tan to the minus 1 of m1 which is a half and then using your calculator for this one you're going to get negative 45 degrees what this really means is that it's a second quadrant angle because it's negative this negative one and because it's a horizontal line that's going to cut the x-axis at some point uh, the maximum angle that you've got there is 180 which is really looking at the first two quadrants in the unit circle so unit circle and so 45 would be here and the other angle here 135 would be there and so it's this 135 that this angle becomes not the minus 45 and 35 degrees and then minus and then the other one is 26.565 degrees 26.565 degrees when you inverse tan uh, one half and then when you subtract those two or sub do that subtraction you get 108.435 and that's the obtuse angle that you would get when the two lines cross so this one so you want this one so it's just 180 minus the other one angle equals 180 minus this which equals 71.565 Alright, so that's the acute angle between the two curves at the point of intersection.